Today we will learn DNS server configurations in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5.0. Do you know what is a DNS server? A DNS server is any computer that register to join the domain name system. A DNS server runs the special purpose networking software and feature a public address and that contains the database of a network name and address for other internet host. The DNS is the main important part of our inner network world. It's convert the IP address to domain name and same reverse domain name to IP address. Do you know how to configure the DNS server? Let's understand. If you want to configure the DNS server in your Red Hat Linux systems, just follow this 11 step. Now we configure DNS server in our systems. First step, install the DNS packet. Suppose if you want to install the DNS in your computer, just identify how many packages are required. The packages are in .rpm format. Just see in our screen, there are four types of packets are required for DNS server. Bind, bind ch root, bind utils and caching name server. These four packets are required to install the DNS in our systems. Now, install this DNS, uh, this package in our system. For that, we use the following command. rpm minus ivh. Run this command in our Red Hat Linux system. Just see in our screen, we are we have a one Linux terminal and we install the package. For that, we run the command rpm minus ivh. Now, first of all, we install the bind package. Here, the Red Hat Linux source are copy. Here we are in our systems. We are we are, we are in Red Hat source directory and in source directory we run the command rpm minus ivh then use aid for dependency are not effect and now run the package name you just write the package name sort and press the tab key now write the full package name so here we install the four package bind bind ch root bind utils here just use the tab button to write the full name you don't remember full package name now we install the last package caching name server so here if you want to install the any package in our Linux just use the command rpm minus ivh always use the AID option because the dependency are not effect next second step set the host name for the Linux server configuration just set the host name to our Linux system for that we use a host name command in our terminal just see in our Linux terminal run the command host name and then type the host name with domain name server.redhat.com here server is our host name, the system name and redhat.com is our domain name just run the host name command and check the domain name now go on third step locally resolve the domain name actually locally resolve the domain name for con this configuration for that we open the host file that file located in our etc directory open this file with vi editor and add the following line for the locally resolve our domain name server.redhat.com just to see in our terminal we open the file with vi editor now press the i to insert some value in our file some character in our file now we are in insert mode and now type the ip address 192.160.10.1 here 10.1 is our local system ip address then press tab and now type a, our host name with domain server.redhat.com and now type the domain name server save the file close the file for that we use wq now our system resolve domain name locally 
Now go on step 4, set the host name in our network file. For that open the network file, the file located in slash etc slash sysconfig directory. Open this file with vi editor. Run this command in our terminal and open the network file. Yes, set our host name in this file. Just see the file view in our screen. Now we are in terminal and open the file network with VI editor. Press the I to go in insert mode and set the host name. Here the default host name is localhost.local domain. Remove this host name and set our new host name server.redhat.com redhat.com finally press escape and go in command mode and press wq keyword and press enter for that save the file save and close the file WQ press enter finally save and close the file after configure step 4 now go in step 5 here set the host name in our local system for that we open the resolve.com file the file located in our etc directory we are using the vi editor to open the file run this command in our terminal and open the resolve.com file this file is responsible for our domain name server ip address and we are use the name server command and then type the host name just see in our terminal we open the resolve.com file with vi editor and in this file we set our host name, domain name DNS server address and here DNS server address is a local address press I to insert go in insert mode and type our host name means local system address 192.168.10.1 because we are develop the DNS server in our local system save the file and close next go in 6 step Restart the network service. If you want to take an effect of these changes, just restart our network service. For that, we use the command service network restart. Run this command in our terminal and restart the network service. Service network restart. Finally, our network service is restarted now. Service are restarted when you take an effect of our changes. Here we change the host name and DNS address is other. Next step 7 we configure the name.conf file. This file is responsible for our DNS server. For that first of all we go etc directory that located in variable directory in name slash ch root directory. For that we use a cd command and in this directory have one Example file name.caching-nameserver.conf file. Copy this file with name.conf file. Give the full permission with ch mode command. Just see in our terminal we perform the following step. First of all open the etc directory that located in variable name ch root directory. Here run the command ls and see the list of file. So here we have a one example file. Copy this file name.caching-nameserver.conf file with a new name name.conf a name.conf file is responsible file for a DNS server configuration now open the name.conf file here see the name.conf file give the full permission with ch mode command set the permission 777 to name.conf file run ls and check the permission Next, step 8. Now